Kurt, you've invested £1.5 million pounds at uh, MAPOW Limited in rugby. It's a great facility. You've got uh, a lot more capacity to offer for new and also your existing customers. But you head up the project team. So tell me what happens with regards to a new project that comes into MAPOW Limited. Um, when we get a new project, a customer will variably send us uh, component drawings. From the component drawings, we'll then look to um, compile a tool list, a list of tools specific to the different um, holes and features within the component. Then once we know the different tools that are required, we can then look to um, do a quote for each individual tool, which we can then put together a full quotation. And then from a quotation, if needed, we can look to do a cycle time study as well. Um, we can put together speeds and feeds and um, look to do an overall proposal for the components. But that's just one element, isn't it? You've also got cost per part. What does that actually mean? It is, yeah. On the cost per part, what we'll do is um, we'll look at a particular component for a customer. And then on that component, we'll um, look to see exactly what the tooling cost will be. Um, and then what we do is we break that tooling cost down so the customer knows to the pence how much the tooling cost will be for every part that they machine. For instance, a cylinder head could be three pounds tooling cost per cylinder head. And it's a very easy and upfront cost for the customer to see exactly where he'll be from production. So the type of customers which would use that system would be companies that are doing volume then? Yeah, exactly. It's high volume work. Um, a lot of automotive customers where they're machining thousands of uh, components a week but um, also it does go into the aerospace side as well um, but it is yeah the, the higher volume customers. So the third element of the business is uh, the tool management side how does that actually work for a customer? Yeah so certain customers um, again on the higher volume quite often um, they'll actually want MAPAL to organize all of the tooling and they'll want MAPAL to um, order the tools and be completely responsible for the whole process. So what we can do is we can install a Unibase uh, vending machine and then using that we can control all the stock levels um, and we can actually service the tools as well. Um, so all the customer really needs to um, be concerned about is actually the machine inside. All of the ordering, all of the logistics is down to MapAL and um, yeah, MapAL will completely look over that side of things. And that's got to be a much more cost-effective way for customers, isn't it? Yeah, completely. They, they haven't got to worry about the resources. They haven't got to worry about running out of tools. Um, they can just concentrate on what they're good at, the machining, and leave the tool inside to map out. So once you've gone through these three elements, if they apply to a customer, what's the next step? Well, once we look at that side and we get an order, then really we pass that on to design, and they'll design the tools from there. Richard, you head up the design process here at uh, MAPOW Limited now. Just spoken to Kurt in reference to the project. Once he's handed that over to you, it comes to your department to, to make the best of what you can do. But what I'm really interested to know is what sets you apart at MAPOW Limited in reference to your design capabilities compared to maybe other manufacturers in the UK? We have a MAPOW process that as soon as we get the order uh, from the other departments, we then pass that information then on to all of the design guys, whoever is going to pick up that order at that time. From that, then they will create their approval drawing. That approval drawing then goes to our customer. The customer then ensures that what we're pr proposing and also uh, that dimensionally it is correct. From that, then the customer signs it along with a MAPAL engineer so that the customer is always having his hand held from, right from the very start to the very beginning. The customer is, not, is always reliant upon MAPAL. Now, I presume that uh, you do have standard pro product from MAPAL, but th this is bespoke tooling in here, is it? That is correct, yes. Um, all of our drawing work that we do here in the UK is all for bespoke tooling for each application that we actually look at. And also then MAPAL is responsible for that tool until we actually hand it over to the customer to say that yes, everybody is happy with what we've supplied to for that application. 
So with the investment of £1.5 million pounds on the shop floor, uh, which we've spoken to a lot of your colleagues, it's got to make your process a lot easier, isn't it? It does help, yes, that's for sure, yes. Because as I say, as soon as then we've got the approval drawing, it will every, all that information then goes into SAP, we create our manufacturing drawing, and then our manufacturing drawing then goes into uh, our manufacturing department. And also then we've now got a CAM system on board, and then we'll create all of our turning and our milling programs ready for when the tool then goes on to our manufacturing area, whether it be turning or milling. And last question, for those engineers that maybe have not experienced the MAPEL um, products, let's say, um, what would be your message to them based on the investment that you've just had here? That um, we've got a good, robust process, that um, we will help any of our customers, uh, whether it be existing or new, and we will help them as much as we can. Richard, thanks very much for your time. No problem. Thank you.